Fingers crossed, hopefully it gets jiggling. Ah! <laughs> yes! Hi, welcome back to Chow with Chow. Today we're making tofu pudding, a really delicious Chinese dessert, using our popular soy milk recipe. Tofu pudding, or douhua, is a super soft pudding made with just two or three ingredients, soy milk and some sort of coagulant. It sometimes serves savory, but I like it best when it's served with a sweet gingery syrup. And today we're using cornstarch and GDL. And I just bought this off Amazon and it's actually an acidifier which is used to sometimes make feta cheese. We're following Omnivore's cookbook for all their tips and tricks, which we're going to link in the description box below. But basically there's only three steps to make this dessert. The first step is to make the soy milk. Then we have to mix the soy milk in with the coagulant. And the third step is to make the syrup. Now I'm making my own soy milk today, but you can definitely use store-bought from an Asian grocery store, which is different from the American kind. I'm using this handy dandy machine, the Mio Mat today. And it's really cool because it blends up the soybeans and it cooks the soy milk all at once. But if you don't have one of these really awesome plant-based milk makers, then you can just use our Instant Pot recipe, which we'll link in the description box below, or cook it stovetop. The best part about this machine is it just takes out that extra step of blending the soybeans. So I soak these soy beans overnight and now they're nice and plump. I'm gonna toss it into my Mio mat with some water and then just let my machine do its thing to make soy milk. It's been about 30 minutes and our fresh soy milk is ready. I'm straining out the okara and it can be saved for other recipes or just tossed. All right, on to step two. I have 400 milliliters of my strained soy milk and you can use store-bought and I'll just drink the rest of this later. And I'm pouring it into this pot to simmer. And I'm adding just a little bit of sugar to it so I can control the sweetness of the tofu pudding later with my syrup. Now while that's heating up, I'm going to measure out exactly one gram of our GDL. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of like salt or sugar. It's like a little crystally, um, which is kind of fun. But it's important to use a scale because the recipe that I'm reading says that a quarter teaspoon could really have variance in how many grams it is. So definitely try to use a scale. We're gonna mix this in with some water and a cornstarch. Our corn, our corn starch. There we go. I'm gonna use my little tiny whisk and whisk it up until it's nice and combined. All right, it looks nice and hot. So I'm gonna pour it from, apparently I have to pour it about a foot up so then it mixes as it's pouring in. And then we cannot touch this bowl. Cannot disturb. Nice. Didn't splash too much. And then we'll put some paper towels on top to allow the condensation to not drip back into our mixture. And we cannot touch it. I'm gonna smash it with a bowl. Do not disturb for like 30, 45 minutes. Because during this time, our tofu pudding is going to solidify and turn into a nice jiggly soft dessert. Okay, I had to move it a little bit. And we cannot touch it. Do not disturb because now we're on to step three, our last step, which is making the syrup. So I've got three little slices of ginger here and I've just scrubbed it really clean. I've left the skins on because it has more flavor. I've got Okinawan black sugar. And it's like, you can use brown sugar if you want, but it just is a little more caramelly and just smells so good. And water. We're gonna let that melt together until it becomes a nice liquidy syrup. The black sugar is melting and it's making this gorgeous amber color. It smells so good. We've got both pieces that we need and now it's time for the reveal. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. So just based on spinning it around, it is not the thick, the, the it's like liquid still. Um, and it's been sitting for like over half an hour now. So we're just gonna see. So normally when you scoop this, you need one of those really um, large, round and, and shallow metal scoops. I don't have one of those. Um, so I'm just gonna use a rice paddle. Oh, oh, it is not scoopable. I'm so disappointed. <sighs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna soak some soybeans right now. And we're gonna try again tomorrow and hopefully it doesn't turn out looking like this. So it's tomorrow and we're gonna do this round two. I've got my cornstarch and my GDL and we're gonna just do the exact same thing as yesterday. I've got my simmering soy milk. <sighs> 
And this time I promise I'm not going to touch it. Fingers crossed, hopefully it gets jiggly. Let's find out. Okay, it's time for the moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. Good. Ah! <laughs> yes! It has solidified. It has a lot of bubbles on the surface, but that is normal with the pouring method since when we poured it, it created a lot of bubbles. But it has solidified, it looks real cute and bouncy. Perfect! Oh my gosh. Finally, trial two. Was it because I didn't move it? Was it because I forgot to add sugar? Was it because I added more G GDL? I do not know, but I'm just super glad it turned out. Mmm. Oh yeah, beauty. So soft and tender. I've got my ginger syrup here from yesterday and I'm just gonna drizzle some more on. Gorgeous! Look at that perfect little jiggle. Nice smooth top. Okay, let me take a bite. Mmm. Oh, it just like kind of melts in my mouth. Nice, beautiful, soft texture. Look at those little bouncy, jiggly curds. The tofu pudding itself isn't very sweet, but with that beautiful ginger syrup, it has like this nice kick of ginger and the nice black sugar, and it's perfect. You can just stick this in the fridge with some saran wrap, but I doubt it'll last that long because you're gonna gobble it all up. But this was way easier to make with the Mio Mat, so shout out to Mio Mat for sending us this to test out because having this plant-based milk maker made life so much easier to make this recipe. Thanks so much for sticking around to watch us try and make this tofu pudding two times, but don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.